Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade, module eight, lesson seven. And in this lesson, students are gonna be interpreting equal shares in composite shapes as halves, thirds, and fourths. Now, what the heck does this mean? It basically means we're gonna continue using all of those polygons that we've been talking about in the previous lessons. But now we're gonna be talking about fractions and we're gonna be talking about halves as being a figure that has two equal parts and thirds is a, a polygon that has three equal parts. And so, and that's what um, we're gonna be talking about in terms of fractions in this lesson. So let's get started. So kind of repeating what I just said in the previous intro slide, the idea is we're going to use, we can use any figures we want. So parents and teachers, if you don't have pattern blocks, you don't need them. It's okay. Uh, but I am going to use uh, pattern blocks as a representative to understand, for you to understand. So the idea is we want to help our students understand that halves is when the figure has been cut into two equal parts, halves, as, as in one half and two half is two halves. Um, we could use thirds and oh, let's do the greens because that's it's perfectly fine. And so we could say, well, let's put these three together to create a, a figure. Oh, look at that. We actually created a polygon, uh, a trapezoid, didn't we? Because there's a trapezoid right there. And so the idea is, well, if three equal parts makes that polygon, that means each one of these is a third. One third, two thirds, three thirds. And we can continue with a, a variety of <laughs> other ways. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if, how do I do this? Let's see. I want to grab all of those and I want to move them. How do I move them? Okay, so I'm going to just go this way. All right, so that's halves right here. We've got thirds over here. Uh, if I wanted to, I could use the blues and we can say, all right, let's put these together and look at that. Oh, we have a nice little polygon. It's a nice um, quadrilateral or we could call it a parallelogram uh, or we can also call it a rhombus. Boy, it's got a lot of different names, but I have cut this figure, this quadrilateral into what? I've cut it into fourths because there are four equal parts in that figure. So here we're gonna be using triangles. It says, use the following puzzles. Uh, to solve the following puzzles, use your tangram pieces and draw the solutions in the space below. I'm just gonna use the tangram pieces itself. And then it says, use the two largest triangles to make a square. Uh, so we're gonna use those two triangles and we're gonna try and make a square and up oh, there we go there is our square all right now parents and teachers the reason we're doing this first off it's kind of fun to do some problem solving and then secondly because what are we doing here we are reinforcing that concept of half one two equal size pieces put together that makes halves right and then it says here, use the two smallest triangles to make a square. So we're going to use, now I happen to use the same triangles in both cases. It, you know, it doesn't matter if we use the smallest here or the largest here. It's all the same because they're triangles. So anyway, we could just keep going, use the two smallest triangles to make a parallelogram that has no square corners. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, no, that's not a parallelogram. Let's see, what is a, oh, there we go, there we go. Parallelogram with no square corners. And of course, what's the important part of this lesson? The important part of this lesson is understanding half is um, a figure that has been cut into two equal sized pieces. Those are halves. So the idea is students through the act of playing with their tangram pieces or their pattern blocks, they're gonna be learning some academic vocabulary. And in this case, we're talking about the academic vocabulary halves or half. And we know that half means the figure has been cut into two equal sized pieces. So right here, we have two equal sized pieces. So that is a good one. 
And this is a good one because it's been cut into two equal size pieces. But what about this one? Well, it's been cut into two equal size pieces, but they're not, I mean, two pieces, but they're not equal. So that's a no good. And what about this last one? It's been cut into two pieces, but are they equal? Yeah, they're equal. So that is a beginning exploration of what we're talking about in terms of half. So examine the trapezoid. So we've got that trapezoid, and it says, how many equal shares does the trapezoid have? And we can see that this trapezoid has been cut into three equal-sized pieces, so those are thirds. And how many thirds are in the trapezoid? And the answer is three. More of the same, circle the shapes that have thirds, that show thirds. So the idea is, when we're talking about thirds, it means three equal sized pieces. So we have three pieces. Are they equal? Yep, they're equal, so we can circle it. Now here, we've got three pieces. Are they equal? Now this is a tricky one, because the answer, no, they're not equal. Because look, they're slanted, so this bottom piece is actually larger than the top piece, so that's no good. How about this? Yep, those are thirds. Those are all three diamonds. Each one of these is a diamond put together to make a hexagon. Examine the parallelogram. How many equal shares does the shape have? So this parallelogram has been cut into four equal sized pieces. So we can write a four right here. And how many fourths are in the shape? Four. And that's the whole idea of fourths. And the last slide for this video, circle the shapes that show fourths. And again, we're talking about that academic vocabulary. And remember, fourths, they have to be equal-sized pieces. So if we want equal-sized pieces, this guy is no good because those pieces were not equal. But this guy is cool, because all four of those pieces are equal. And then lastly, this guy is cool, because all four of his pieces are equal to each other. And that wraps up second grade, module eight, lesson seven. Students are beginning the process of learning halves, thirds, and fourths.